Hey, did anyone else notice a deer staring through binoculars at passing traffic over by the high school this morning? I swear it had a cigarette hanging from its mouth. Someone needs to educate the deer population on the dangers of smoking. This is Vox, and you're listening to Not Really Radio. Well, humans, today it is my absolute pleasure to bring you a brief phone interview I had with Giulia Cifaldi, one of the performers at our Not Really Radio event on April 30th at 7 p.m. Before that, though, I have some news updates. Be on the lookout for some new to Tecumseh cryptids that witnesses are describing as red and gross with really long tongues. That sounds horrible. In a related story, sources say there is a cryptid convention coming to Tecumseh reportedly to be held in the secret parking lot of the secret McDonald's. No word yet on who's sponsoring this soiree or why. Hey, remember the swans that were on the Red Mill Pond a week ago or so? Any idea where they went? There were like 200 and now there's like six. I don't miss them. I just don't want to be caught up in swan Swanmageddon because I lost track of the evil creatures. They're like tigers, you know. Dangerous when you can see them, more dangerous when you can't. If you know where they went, drop me a line. Back to Miss Chifaldi. She is one of the talented performers who will be joining us at the Not Really Radio Live event located where 35 mile an hour Birch Street turns into 45 mile an hour Milwaukee Road. And the truck behind you gets far closer than necessary when you slow down to turn into the parking lot, even though you had your blinker on in plenty of time. Just saying. Here's the interview. So, Ms. Chifaldi, in exactly 19 seconds, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Julia. I'm more of a cat person than a dog person, but dogs are valid too. I think they're really cute. Um, my favorite pasta shape, definitely farfalle, because they look like little butterflies. What's not to like? In my spare time, I like to bake and go for walks. Yeah, I went for a walk once. I was immediately attacked by a Canadian goose because... I seem to have really bad luck with waterfowl. But that's another story for another time. So, Julia, tell us, what is your superpower? My superpower is being good at crossword puzzles. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of them. Groovy. So, Julia, what was your favorite thing to do as a little kid at recess? Um, as a kid, I was a... Honestly, still today, I'm a big fan of the monkey bars. I know that's kind of a basic thing, but, you know. I do know. And you know what? There is absolutely nothing wrong with the basics, so rock on. Um, Julia, have you ever had a Chester Chase sighting? I wouldn't say that I haven't not yet not had the pleasure of meeting him. Or would I? <laughs> that may be my favorite answer that I've ever heard to that particular question. So, in the event that you did, in fact, see him, can you tell us what did you see him do? Um, unfortunately, he did end up running over my beloved pet turtle, but he brought him back via artificial respiration. Thank goodness. Thank goodness indeed. That was the tremendously charming Julia Cifaldi. And you know what? I also have a soft spot for turtles. Hopefully we can protect them from racist talking fish. Let's find out together. How? Well, take a few minutes out of your everyday to listen to Not Really Radio and then come and join us for the live Not Really Radio event, April 30th at 7 p.m. This is Vox, and you've been listening to Not Really Radio. Not Really Radio.